Should I say a bright day out here at the Mandela National Stadium? Uganda cranes are taking on Liberia. Georgia is in town, but of course the focus is on the match that the Uganda cranes are taking on Liberia for the 2014 FIFA World Cup qualifier. My name is Clive Chazze, of course, for Pulse Photo TV. We have the full, full crew down here at Mandela National Stadium. The lineups are out. And some surprise inclusions there in the Ghana Cranes lineup. Robert Odonkara starting ahead of Abel Daira after Dennis Onyango was suspended for this fixture. And of course, the likes of Isine Isaac also making his way into the starting lineup, relegating Henry Kalundi to the bench. The other name that probably is new to many Ugandans is William Chizito Luaga who is also standing. The biggest game of his life is to ask me today for the Uganda Cranes, but not forgetting Marin Kayongo Mutumba. He's not standing today getting a call-up, but he is starting on the bench, but probably just take you through the full lineup. up Odo Kana Robert in goal, Andrew Moisko, the captain, Isaac is in there. Dennis Kuma also trying to make Ugandans forget about Simeon Masaba, who will start a right back together with Warus Prada, Warus Simbi, Jokre, who will be starting in the left back position. Hassan Waswa, Tizdol Waka, Baba Chito, and Tony Mawaji are the people starting in midfield together with Emma Okui and Masa Jokre. Starting up from the going in charge of looking for the goals. On the bench, 11 subs is all which has got to from Abel Daira, Nicholas Wadada, Joseph Pochaya. Kalonji Henry, Martin Kayoko Mutuba told you, Mbane Joseph, Saidi Chayne, Tiza and Miss Diego, Daniel Musei Selumkumba, Moses Oloya and Robert St. John. Of course, forgetting our Liberian counterparts. They are starting with Shaman, Nathaniel, Shatwan in goal. Anthony Lopold, the captain, Gas 23, will also be telling this game today. Jaliba Francis, Ture Ansu, they are midfield, who have spoken a lot about this picture, saying that they don't underestimate Uganda. Wissi Solomon, Lewis Theo Wicks, Olisa Soko, Jabeti, Freddie Eddie Bokai, Muele Patrick, Ronaldinho, Aldo. Kamo Alex, Simuja Alios, Barian Haron, Saidi Prince, Tizel, Donia, Keita Asel, James Galali, now the people starting for Liberia. Honorable Charles Wakablindi, the state minister in is the chief guest on this one, of course, going down there to do the ceremonial greetings to the teams. The FIFA president, George Weah, the legend, 1995 African Football of the Year, World Football of the Year. I told you he's in town, but it's now time for the national anthems. Of course, some little bit of confusion here <laughs> before the ceremonial from the guests of honor. The MCs at the stadium had gone ahead to give you the national anthems. But of course, we shall have that ceremonial handshake there. Anton Lofo taking the State Minister for Sports, Honor Charles Bakablin, and other dignitaries through his team. The referees will also get a chance. The referees are from Chad and the Mweshikwa. Will also the same. Robert Odonkara starting in goal. I don't remember the last time he turned out for the cranes. He was with Mitchell at St. George in Ethiopia. He has preferred him ahead of Abel Daira. After that ceremonial handshake, I believe we'll be able to now have 
the national anthems starting with that of Liberia. Francis, Ture also shot seven, Alamandine Omega, Wester Solomon, Lewis Theo, Wicks, Alyssa Soko, Jabete, Kode Ede Mokai, Wede Patrick, Ronaldinho, Karanga, Zan, Haman, and of course for Uganda, Robert Odonkara in goal, Geoffrey Walusimi in left back, Dennis Guma in right back, Isidre Isaac, and the Mwesuwa in the center of midfield, Hassan Waswa, Baba Tisto, Tony Maweji, and Tisto Luwaga are the midfielders there together with Massa Joffrey and the Emma O'Queen, the people in charge of the goals. Mitchell Mulletin, the biggest game of his career so far as head coach of the Ghana Cranes. The first one as a friend, was a friendly last week. He lost that one, three goals to zero in Libya. Something not really to dwell much about. The last four Cranes managers have all lost their first game in charge so he's not the only one but of course most of them have been away from home so he's not any different the last fixture for uganda between uganda rather and liberia was that fixture in march in monrovia uganda went ahead to lose that one two goals to zero Antonio Lafoy, the captain of today was one of those people on the score sheet the last time liberia was in town they lost their game, one goal to zero. That day, George Weah not really playing a big role after being stuck in jam for quite some time. Also here, ladies and gentlemen, is George Of course, from where I was seated, a round of applause. After the sound of the name George Weir, 1895, world European African footballer player. But that history doesn't matter anymore. He's just a legend. The boys on the pitch got to do that job. Will it be Uganda? Will it be Liberia? That's the question we're all waiting here to be answered at the Mandela National Stadium.
It will be Liberia with a kick off here. And of course, they started early, probably looking for that early important goal to Ray Unsu there. Just again one, but of course, the main man nicknamed Ronaldinho, Willie Patrick, known doing wonders. A long one from Robert Odonkara looking out for Emma Okwi. The first time that Uganda has closes to the Lebron goal. It's Emma Okwi. He tries to bring it across. Master Jeffrey tries to tap it in by the goalkeeper. Sails the wall. The man, Nathaniel, saving Liberia in this early stages. Emma Okwi bringing in a darling cross that Master Jeffrey heads on target. Bringing out the stretch from Shaman Nathaniel. Uganda sending other signals that the main business in this fixture probably the lineup that the man Mitchell Mulitina has brought out means business just one minute and we already have a shot on target from the usual suspect Master Geoffrey Usu passing the ball down to Wissi Solomon Baba Chizito Playing one for Massa Joffrey. Massa Joffrey, of course, battling down there with Alamadine Omega. But Massa beaten to pace. Probably he should have tried to protect his goal and go towards Shaban Nathaniel, but he thought he would be fouled or anything. He didn't come from West Solomon. Liberia. They look to be comfortable on the ball. Anthony Lafour playing deep in midfield. Walusimi Godfrey to Emma Okui. Emma Okui has three people to beat. And of course, he wins Uganda a set this year. He had three people to beat. One of them had to foul him. Uganda, I told you, sending other signals that the main business here. It's a set piece. Walusimi Godfrey. Master Geoffrey are the people standing in front or rather next to that ball together with Tony Maweje. I'd fancy Tony Maweje to take this one. He is in a better angle and of course being a right-footed player. He has all it takes. It's Tony Maweje bringing in one but of course the players collide there. It's still Uganda and the Mexico are giving Uganda the ball here. No, says the first Assistant referee that Andy Muska was outside. Nambole Stadium almost roast its roof here. But it will be a free kick for Liberia after the captain Andy Muska was ruled out for offside. Just three minutes being played here. You see the Isaac? Goma Dennis. Chisitolu Waga. Very swift with the ball, Chisitolu Waga. Goma failing to play it there. He had none other than Olise Soko Jabeth to beat. And the ball goes out for a throw in. It will be Ture Ansu, the left back, looking for Ronaldinho. I really wouldn't want to call him Ronaldinho. I doubt if he has the skills to replicate the original Brazilian superstar. Baba Chizito. Emma Okwe playing it in space here. Emma Okwe. He has Francis Jabalia to beat. Emma Okwe. Emma Okwe. Playing in one ball. Definitely. Definitely. It's one new for Uganda. Tony Mawetje just after four minutes. Giving Uganda the lead here. Baba Chizito played one wide down there for Emma Okwe. Who played it in space. He played it until he really fell first. And it was none other than Tony Mawetje. The last time he scored for Uganda was against Randa in this very stadium. The 
the 2008 Seca Fasina Challenge Cup that game ended 4-0 in favor of Uganda. Tony Mawaje pulls one here for Uganda. Under four minutes, Uganda are leading this game one goal to zero. Something they really wanted. And of course, Mitchell Mulutin telling his boys to come down is not yet all over. All it takes to win a game is score your goals and make sure you don't concede. Uganda has won from a very unlikely source, Tony Maweje. But of course, the donkey work by Emma Queen was also splendid. But of course, Ronaldinho getting going towards the Brains goal. But Goma Dennis and Anne Moshigwa not giving him chance. The cranes are looking to be on fire. One goal after four minutes. If they continue with that kind of form, who knows what the squadron will be at the end of the day. Isaac Isinde. Isinde failing to get it past his own half to be a throw in for Liberia. For the Eddie Boakai, leaving the ball for to the Osu to be with Theo Wicks, Baba Tizito to Emma Okwe. Jopro Walusimi also going forward, but Emma Okwe fails to keep the ball in possession. Liberia, a long one there. Guma Dennis having it covered straight to his goalkeeper, Odonkara Robert. You see the Isaac. The cranes are looking comfortable on the ball. Tizito Luwaga to Hassan Waswa. Andrew Mweshwa plays his professional football in Kazakhstan, Emma Okwe. Again, Okwe. Trying to play a cheap ball for Walusimi Godfrey. Walusimi Godfrey defied odds and beat a late fitness test to be available for this fixture after news making that he was ruled out. Liberia being restricted to playing football in their own half. They're not really that fancy side we thought that they are trying to play those long balls. They believe that penetrating the Ugandan midfield won't really be that easy for them. Walusimbi, commonly known as Jajawalu. Tony Maweje, Emma Okui. Okui to Maweje, but Anton Lofo fighting so hard there. Solomon Wesi to Wesi Theo Wicks. Liberia really not coordinating well, especially when they try to play some bit of possession. If you have to compare them to Uganda, Tizitolu Waga. So far, so good for Tizitolu Waga, plays professional football in Portugal, just 20 years of age. Of course, the coach Mitchell there urging him to drive the ball forward, but I mean, he's just a kid playing the biggest game of his life, probably. He ought to be nervous. It will take him a while to get used to the environment, but he's one that has been given the burden of carrying this team forward. Anton Lafour failing to keep possession just like the rest of his teammates. So far in these first 10 minutes, everything is wrong for Liberia, but everything going right for Uganda. One go to zero just after four minutes from a very unlikely source, Tony Maweje.
Norwegian Tony again trying to make a run from the left. He is being fouled. Uganda's second set piece. You would say in kind of similar position. The other one was, though this one is a little bit further on the touchline. And the Mosquewa's goal was disallowed earlier on off a set piece. Let's see what happens this time round. Still, it's Tony Maweje together with Walusimu Godfrey, but I believe it's Tony Maweje to take this one. And the Mosquewa, Master Geoffrey, Baba Chizito, Hassan Waswa, Tisol Waga are the men in the Algerian penalty area together with Emma Okui. It's all me good for this time round. We've seen a cross, but it just goes over the bar. Some bit of breathing space there for Liberia. Anthony Lofa playing deep in midfield. Emma Okui playing a long one for Massa Joffre. Can he keep it in? Massa Joffre keeps it in. Who is there? Massa Joffre. This one man. The whips in across but straight into the hands. Shaman Nathaniel. I don't want to use words that are running in my brains. They could probably sound too much for Uganda. But East Liberia, our cross is being whipped in there by 48 Bowakai. But there are more Ugandans in the penalty area than Liberians. So definitely there is no way that one would have gone in. Reggie Patrick, Ronaldinho was the only Liberian in the box. The man they're relying on to get them the goals. So far he has done poorly. Hassan Wasa being a little bit reckless there. And the Mwesugwa struggling to keep the ball in play against Olisa Suko Jabate. But it will be a throw in for Uganda. Masa losing possession there. It's Hassan Waswa. Tony Maweje. His nearest comrade is Warsimi Godfrey. Chistol Waga has changed from the right to the left. He's still possession Uganda. Tizito Waga. He has a man to beat. Whipping in across for Master Joffrey. Master Joffrey keeps it in play. No, he doesn't keep it in play and it will be a throw in for Liberia. Trey Aosu. Trey Aosu looking for 40 Eddie Boakai. They can't keep possession. They are struggling to keep possession. Emma Okui in the area. But no, Emma Okui failing to go past Alamadine Omega, who clears the ball, looking for Willie Patrick. He has Isine to beat. No, he can't beat Isine. The official from Chad saying it's a free kick for Liberia. Willie Patrick trying to bully Isinde, who refuses to be bullied. Usi Kori, Anthony Lafour, no, he doesn't get Anthony Lafour. Masa, it's Hassan Waswa, down to Emma Okui, but no, Alamadine Omega plays it back to Nathaniel Shaman. Ture Ansu keeps it into play. But is still possession for Uganda as the referee says that Olise Soko Jabete fouled Maweji. Masa Joffre being ruled out for offside there it was a nice chip for Tisol Waga who I believe would have enjoyed to go past Jalaba Francis. The cranes have kind of relaxed, or should I say that the, the Liberians are trying to learn how to tame 
this Ugandan side. The records are all in favor of the men in yellow. I mean, since 2005, Uganda has failed to score a goal in Nambole only once that miserable night, 8th October. But all the other fixtures that have been played here have ended up with goals. And the last time I went to squad in this very stadium, Uganda went on to beat Rwanda four goals to zero. The opening game of the 2008 Sekafa Senior Challenge Cup. But the ball is too long for Dennis Guma, the sports club Victoria University vice captain. He is naturally a midfield player. He has played central defense before, but now playing right back for the national team. Emma Okui beats his man, but he fails to keep possession as Lewis Theo Wicks dazzles past the Ugandans. Liberia trying to go past the Ugandan defense, but no. Chizito Luwaga moving forward, plays it down to Emma Okui. He is a striker, Emma Okui, dashing on the right, back to Chizito Luwaga. Looking for options, Baba Chizito. Dennis Guma. Baba Chizito enjoying himself in the midfield. A long one looking for Walusimi Godfrey. Keeps it into possession. Uganda, but Walusimi Godfrey giving away the ball as Liberia win themselves a free kick. Alamadin Omega, Antonio Lafour. A long cross looking for Patrick Willie. He can't go past Isinde. Ugandans relaxing a little bit. Probably the Algerians have also decided to sit back, wait for the cranes to come at them as Luwaga gives away possession. Mwesigwa. Luwaga being fouled there by Unsu Ture. But the ref says it's still Liberia's ball. Antoine Lefoy, the captain of the side. Antoine Lefoy, he tries to shoot Antoine Lefoy 